are making a demonstration of uh, the open source test automation framework, Codecept JS. We are going to demonstrate how to uh, write a simple test for um, a publicly accessible website. Um, we will begin with from basically from zero, from initializing the uh, test files, uh, installing CodeCept.js and uh, various its portions. And from there, we will proceed to writing a simple test at first directly uh, by coding, um, by putting um, selectors directly into the test. And uh, then we will uh, redo this test using page objects, which is a very nice way to structure information in your test, in your functional test automation. So first we will install CodeCept.js. We created a new folder. It's currently empty. We're going to create a JavaScript module there. It will be our project in which we are using CodeCept.js. So the first step is for us to uh, create package.json. We are using, on the left you see a shell. Uh, there is also a web browser window that's hidden right now. We will be using it at times. Um, we, I'm recording on Macintosh um, and so um, I basically have Unix built in. If you are on Windows, then your mileage will vary slightly, but I'm sure you will be able to adjust. On the right, we have Sublime Text Editor free version, which allows us to edit files pretty easily. So here we go into folders, and we tell it that we want to add folder to project, and we browse to where this actually is. This folder was added and now we can edit package.json. We're going to give it give our project a name. We will stick with just the minimal configuration for now. And we need to specify dependencies. For dependencies, we're going to specify, in fact, we don't even have to do this right now. We will do npm install codesubjs, and we'll say save. This invokes npm, it installs codesubjs, and it records that into package.json. As you can see, that was added. We also need to install the actual Puppeteer package. Very well. So now that we have CodeCept installed, we are going to invoke it to create the test skeleton for us. This is how we are going to do it. Uh, under node packages, under node modules, we have the directory called dot bin, within which we have CodeCept.js script. We are going to create a little convenience for us. We are going to create a file called cc in the current directory. It will be our shell script, which will allow us to invoke code set JS. It needs to look like this. and it will invoke exactly that command line. 
and pass an argument to it. Like this, dollar star. Whatever arguments the script was called with will be passed to code set JS. Now we just need to make it executable. Excellent. Now we are going, we're looking at the help screen for code set JS. We're going to use the init command to initialize our bare project. We see init. It will ask us a number of questions. Where are the tests located? I like them in a subdirectory called tests. And I want everything.js to be considered. I would like to use puppeteer. I use my arrows. I press space. I press center. My selection is done there. Out uh, reports will be put into a directory called output. I would like to um, have the potential to, cost, to add custom steps, so I answer yes to this question. Uh, I prefer English, so I choose English language. Other languages are available. Um, custom steps, yes, sure, I will accept the default on that. And uh, my system actually lives at this URL, so I will copy this URL, and I will paste it here. That's where my system actually lives. Great. What happened? CodeSubJS generated CodeSub.json, which is its configuration file, created directories output and tests, and created steps underscore file.js, which we will not cover in this video, but in general, you can use it to customize CodeSub.js.